Zina, adultery and fornication, does not refer only to penetration, rather there is the zina of the hand, which is touching that which is forbidden, and the zina of the eyes, which is looking at that which is forbidden. It is not permissible for the Muslims to long for the things that lead to zina, such as kissing, being alone, touching and looking. All these things are haram and lead to the greater evil, which is zina. Allah says and do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Indeed, it is ever an immorality and is evil as a way. Looking at that which is forbidden is one of the arrows of the shaitan, which leads to a person to doom, even if he did not do it intentionally at first. Allah says, tell the believing man to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal sexual acts. That is purer for them. Verily, Allah is all aware of what they do. And tell the believing woman to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal sexual acts. Think about how Allah connects the issues of lowering the gaze with the issue of protecting the private parts, guarding one's chastity. In these verses and how lowering the gaze is mentioned first, before protecting the private parts because the eyes influences the heart. Porn addicts suffer from a genuine mental, emotional and physical trap. With a combination of therapy, internet filters, affirmations, accountability and research, it can be overcome. Some people believe that porn addiction is irreversible. This is not true. The proof is many porn addicts have given up on this evil addiction. The reversal process is done by Minimize all possible routes to viewing porn Avoiding the behaviour that mimics pornography Avoid surfing the internet Avoid fantasising And avoid friends which speak about porn The human brain is designed to find the opposite sex attractive So when porn presents women in this way Of course you will have that dopamine rush So we need to understand how we are able to be pulled into this addiction The process being used and what's taking place Many people with addictions have empty lives. This causes them to gravitate towards these addictions. But by having a complete alternative, you can challenge these addictions. Islam provides a holistic framework to dealing with porn addiction, in which it develops our minds with the intellect and knowledge that we have been given. We develop the body by maintaining the balance in the body. We develop the soul by the zikr, the remembrance of Allah, and reflection upon Allah and his creation and our accountability before the creator, and being aware that our actions are being accounted for. And we develop positive social networks through brother and sisterhood and through positive family networks. Sincere repentance to Allah is a complete reboot process because it replaces pleasures with pain you realize this was disobedience to Allah. Your pleasure is only to obey Allah and your displeasure is to disobey Allah. The conditions of repentance are number one you hate the sin and have a revulsion for it. Abstain immediately from the sin and do not delay the repentance but act straight away. Number two distance yourself and cut all avenues to the things that will put you back into sin i.e friends, spending time alone on your computer, looking at things that will lead you to porn. Number three, the measure of Allah, peace be upon him, said, fear Allah, wherever you are, and follow up a bad deed with a good deed, and it will wipe it out. As the dopamine feedback mechanism is based upon motivation, by following up a bad deed with a good deed, this will create new actions, new activities, new neural pathways by putting positive things into your brain. This will wipe away the high release of negative dopamine created by watching porn and replacing it with positive dopamine. Porn addicts watch porn to feel good. An overload of dopamine release from watching porn affects your motivation. Porn demotivates you from doing any other thing and makes you lose your self-esteem and confidence so you only feel motivated when watching porn. Everything else demotivates you. So as a result, you have a low motivation. Therapists describe this as a brain fog, the inability to think straight. And Allah describes this as khamr, intoxicants that wish befogs or clouds the mind. When you withdraw from watching porn, you will have the same symptoms as drugs and alcohol withdrawal symptoms. You have the feeling that you want to go back. Your brain is looking for that dopamine rush again. So you need to fight that. To do this, you need to create new neural pathways in your brain. When you stop using neural pathways, you lose them. So if you stop viewing porn, then you will stop using these neural pathways that have been created from watching porn. But they are still dormant. So in order for this to work, you need to use the neural pathways by doing something else, such as a hobby like going to the gym, eating healthy, etc. If you are a serious addict, then a good start would be to cut the problems from the root by getting rid of the internet connection from your home. Take steps to keep your children safe. Many teens watch porn on their mobile phones. Research shows 9 out of 10 boys are exposed to pornography before the age of 18. 6 out of 10 girls are exposed to pornography before the age of 18. 71% of teens hide online behaviour from their parents. 28% of 16 to 17 year olds have been unintentionally exposed to pornography online. 
There is a variety of software and methods available that can filter out certain contents from the internet before it gets into your computer. Here's a list of things that you can do to protect yourselves and your families. Number one, install parental control software on all of your computers. These are internet and web protection filters that will block pornography. There are many free softwares available for Android phones, tablet PCs, laptops, iPhones, etc. Make sure you use a parental control software which cannot be easily disabled. Many come with a password which only the parent should have. Simply search online for parental control software. We have added a few links in the description of this video. Number two, ring your internet service provider and tell them to block pornography on your internet connection. Number three, on many wireless internet broadband hubs, routers, you are now able to block pornography directly from the unit by accessing the parental control settings within the router or the hub. This will stop anyone using your wireless or wired connection to view pornography. Simply ring your service provider for further help. Number four, keep the computer in the family room where it can be monitored. Number five, parents should have computer control by having a password. Number six, do not let your children have access to unlimited broadband Wi-Fi on their mobile phones, on the tablets and on the personal computer. Please note, from country to country, internet service providers and mobile network services differ with support and help with configuring your phones, broadband hubs and routers. So you may have to configure everything yourself. You can always get the help from a local computer store. Protect your families from being exposed to pornography before it's too late. Please don't forget to like us and share us on the Digital Mimba Facebook and Twitter. Please also subscribe to the Digital Mimba YouTube channel in the links below.